welcome to the Downtown Dish, where I tell you everything you need to know from the Ogden Downtown Alliance newsletter in three minutes or less, shooting for a minute and 30 seconds, but maybe not today, as this is our first episode. We are kicking off 2021 with this new segment. So essentially, at the top of every monthly newsletter, there will be a brief video recapping, sort of bullet point format, everything you need to know that's outlined below. So if there's something specific that you want to go back and read more on, you'll know what's in the newsletter and what to expect. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. As you may see, maybe you're scrolling right now, or maybe you scrolled before you watched this video, our newsletter looks a little different. So we shifted our sections to match our six pillars for our ODA mission statement. So that will help you better understand who we are, our role in the downtown, and how our work answers back to that mission. So lots of fun. Let's get into it. Or shall I say, let's dish. Every month we will be featuring a new local business, restaurant, eatery, coffee shop, and a dish that I will be trying not eating throughout the video because that might be chaotic, but it will be there. So we'll be suggesting some things to you. Today we have a sugar-free vanilla oat milk latte from Daily Rice, and as you can see, it's working. So first of all, exciting news, we have elected our new district liaisons for 2021. So thank you all for voting. So without further ado, please help me in congratulating Jenny Venegas from Local Artisan Collective for The Junction, Jessica Boyer from Boyer Wealth Management for Historic 25th Street, Jen Hood from Zions Bank for Washington Boulevard, and Ksenia Thomas from Thomas Printers for Nine Rails. Next up, we have the Ogden Marathon returning in 2021 for a reimagined virtual experience. And if you're wondering how that's going to work, you can scroll down and read more under our events programming section. And there's also a link there to register if you haven't done so yet. And I know the burning question on all of your minds is, when are we returning to in-person town halls? The answer is not now. So our town hall that we usually have in January is our big VIP state of the downtown meeting where us and our partners from across the city we all get together and give you updates on our projects, what we're working on, community programming, upcoming events, stats, everything. And this year we are doing that, but via a webinar in February, we're having a webinar. <laughs> Thomas came up with that one, um, but we are really excited to give you those updates. So look for a formal invitation for that meeting soon. And that will be on February 8th, which is a Monday. So hold that on your calendar and we will send that out shortly. And that's really it for today's updates. Not a ton of new information, but definitely some things you need to know in this newsletter. If you scroll to the bottom, there's an update on the Make Ogden project, and that will have a standing place in this newsletter for you to get those updates and that information as well. Welcome to 2021. We are excited to continue our work together with you here in the downtown. And we really just thank you all for your participation in this community. And we can't wait to see what the new year holds. Our restaurants and our retailers are still open. They're still going strong. They have curbside to go, online ordering, all the options available so that you can navigate the downtown safely. So please just remember to shop local and support local now and always. And we will see you next time.